Hi everybody, I'm Michael, and as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm doing a speed run for Dark Tales, Edgar Allan Poe's The Oval Portrait. I just did a video walkthrough for this game, and I really enjoyed it, so I figured, hey, why not do a speed run? It's not going to be a super serious speed run, it's going to be a run for fun. It's just me enjoying myself, challenging myself to beat this game in a quick manner. As you can see, I've got three different save files. So basically what I did was, I played through to the first Hidden Objects Challenge, and then I stopped. Then I played through on another save file, and another save file. So, this is going to be attempt number four. My fourth attempt at uh, getting through uh, the first segment of the game. And hey, that works for a speedrun. This is not a super duper speedrun, just a run for fun. And playing through three times in a row should help me know what to do. I should have it memorized. Like, I know I, I skip here, and then I skip here. I say no to this. I talk to you. I talk to you. I take your thing. Uh, I skip this scene. Uh, I steal that item, which gives me an unskippable scene. Well, actually, there is a skippable scene there. Okay, grab this. Use this item here. Very simple puzzle. Okay, giving me the door plate. And then this is sort of a slow puzzle. Really no way to speed this up. So it gives me a little bit of a breather. A little bit of a breather halfway through. Uh, this segment, because the segment's almost over, believe it or not. The the first Hidden Objects Challenge is really close to the start of the game. Okay, so I'm going to solve this, then I'm going to look at the newspaper. Grabbing the pinchers, use the pinchers here. You don't need to aim, you just click anywhere and the game accepts that. Look here, do So, that's what this video is going to be like. It's just going to be me clicking frantically, very rushed. I find that Hidden Objects Challenges are just a good place to stop because I'm bad at Hidden Objects Challenges and they generally trip me up. So that's why I start and stop each segment with a Hidden Objects Challenge. That's all. With that said, let's do uh, segment number two. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is an annoying Hidden Objects Challenge because some of the items don't appear until like halfway through. Ah. The items you have to find uh, change depending on uh, what you've already clicked on, so that's just annoying. That's just, just, just super duper annoying. Okay. Um, this is annoying. You need to click very precisely in order to find these things. Hey, I got an achievement for finding everything. And, okay, I clicked hint button there just to make sure I didn't accidentally miss anything. Hint button is my good friend when it comes to uh, just double checking. I have not screwed up tor terribly, and I have. Okay, okay. <clears throat> screwed up there. Shouldn't have uh, put the piece in the wrong spot. Oh well. That puzzle's done. That does. That puzzle's done, and now we get to meet. Yeah. Oh no, the creepy woman. Okay. So this is a simple puzzle. Just move things across the screen. You're supposed to listen to what she's saying, but I'm not going to do that, obviously, because it is slow. Many have to been to missing. Oh no! Miss Only one amulet. Oh, come on! It okay. Really, really getting on my nerves here again with this precise clicking stuff. Okay. Well, here's my new best friend: the skip button. The skip button. Now I can finally skip puzzles. Yes instead of having to solve them. And that woman was basically explaining the plot of the game, which is that this evil villain is like stealing girls' souls, and we need to uh, save them. Save them, basically. Basically, that's what we're doing. We're, we're saving them by uh, defeating the evil villain, getting that amulet back, and, uh, you know, taking, taking their souls out of those pictures. Okay, clock key goes here. I think you can solve this puzzle uh, before the skip button fills up, but I'm not going to do it because I did not. I was just totally not able to memorize uh, that particular uh, puzzle solution. I think six six moves is the fastest for that. Okay, here you want to just find all of these various um, tile things. You're going to be forced to look at one of those letters. It's the good one, and no, that's the boring one. Okay, there's the good one. Okay, darn, 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 darn. Because the good one has a puzzle. Okay, so this is a simple puzzle. Simple enough, anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, didn't mean to mess, mess that up. Okay, so uh, now I have this. This is another skip. 
that's gonna give me the third of the little lily things so I can escape this room. And then go out to the street where, as we saw, the culprit was attempting to kill the chief of police. Uh, he doesn't kill the chief of police, he just injures the chief of police. We're gonna help the, the poor uh, chief of police. Actually, he might not be the chief of police, he might just be water. a random policeman. In any case, we need to get him some water because he is on the cusp of death. And we save him here, he's gonna give us a police folder I'm and warn us sir. about his daughter, but the, the key to the house is broken have to fix it and here's his daughter right now being harassed by an innocent man who is acting extremely guilty so now we have this puzzle so this is not my favorite puzzle in the world very easy to mess up and forget where pieces are supposed to go okay um and this here great okay that gives me cat food no, 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 I mean, you, you, you put the labels where they're supposed to go, you have to be very specific, and gives, this gives you a lion part. There's another lion part here in the folder, just click through the folder to get through, it's very simple. Final lion part over there, lion parts over here. Simple puzzle, you can beat it before the uh, skip button fills up, and done. Okay, next segment. So this Hidden Optics Challenge uh, starts off bad, but then it becomes a, a, an easier challenge as time goes on. Okay, so let's see, I just need to find a bunch of things. I need to click precisely everywhere, which is a pain. And what am I missing? Come on, help me out here. Oh, I could just want to click on those. Okay, where's that final branch? There, got it. Okay, so now the easy parts. Um, gonna actually make the key, so light the fire, put this cup on the fire, we've got plenty of time to wait, there's no need, there's no way to hurry it up, okay, just have to wait for the animation to be finished, that makes it easier, get water, pour water, drop this here, and now we've got the key, we're finished with this area, next we're gonna go inside the house, and until the puzzle's there, First, uh, we have a scene of Dupon fighting the um, incredibly no innocent man who is just looking incredibly guilty. The girl no is trapped here. You can either double click there or R, just hit the skip button if you manage to aim your cursor correctly. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So that's the real culprit attacking the poor girl. Oh no, when Dupon attacked that one guy, he got, he, he got the wrong person by mistake. Is it, isn't that just a trap? Very tragic. Okay, the statue code goes here. Not statue, but whatever. 83174. Give me that final thing. And oh, I grab the bracelet here. Uh, picture. Pictures of the girl both go on the, the the one side, the left side. Okay, now I have all four of these pieces here for a puzzle that I can skip. And that'll be it for this room. Isn't it amazing how much more quickly the game goes when you know how to solve every puzzle ahead of time? Okay, unfortunately, we did not arrive in time to uh, save her. The bad guy stole her soul. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get to the painting. It didn't, like completely steal her soul. She's like in a painting, and we're gonna go to the painting and then save her. But it, we're actually gonna be too late. She is gonna be like legit have her soul stolen then. But it's 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 sad. Okay. And uh, let's see, I'm this, I'm this, this. You need to read this letter to get to the book underneath the letter. The letter's not very important. And this puzzle, let's see. There it is. Good. I think that's one you can solve before the uh, skip button finishes. Okay, click out of here. Over here are the books. Sadly, we can't skip any of these puzzles, huh? I feel like some of those puzzles should have been, like, skipping, like the, the music puzzle, maybe. Okay, that's the lock part. We have the umbrella, and here's the scene of our hero, uh, Dupont, fighting the real culprit. So Dupont knows that when he arrested the innocent guy, uh, the innocent guy is innocent, because the real culprit attacked him shortly afterwards. Here we go, Detective Dupont. We're going to save him. He's going to be... Somewhat injured, Thank but you. that's okay. I decided we to to steal the medallion for Gabrielle. So we're actually going to use 
use that medallion in order to save her. I did not mean to click here. I clicked here by accident a bit too early, so I'm going to back away uh, from this puzzle as soon as I solve it, because that is a hidden objects challenge, and that is the end of this segment. Got a couple of more things I can do here before we get there. Uh, basically this, this puzzle. Okay, this goes here. You're wanting to spin these things in the area that, as shown at the top of the screen. Okay, pipe. That gives me this, which I can use here for the next key, which will get me in the next area done. This next segment should be really straightforward. It should be pretty easy. Okay, let's see. We start off with the Hidden Objects Challenge, which is not straightforward or easy. We've got a couple of items that we need to mo use on other items. Um, mostly just these flowers. We're going to be moving those flowers onto other things. And the final flower is here. Okay, I've got the metal leaf. Oh, and this is where we get big storyline, everyone. Big storyline. Okay. So, uh, we see the evil villain there. Uh, we're gonna skip this puzzle. Now, we can see the real villain is going to be the angry lady. We're going to see her in just a moment. So, it's a huge plot twist. Detective, save me! That, uh, the villain is really this no, angry lady right here. Them. Who, who has been, uh, fooling our heroes all along. It's very sad. And now, uh, Detective Juan right? is injured. We need to go to the... You we need to go to this guy's hotel room in order to get some medicine in order to save Dupont, okay? So, innocent man has the medicine to save our detective friend. And we'll come back here later to the art gallery. We'll come back here later to get a map. Okay, one, two, another very precise clicking challenge, giving us a gear. Gear goes here. Giving us the final tile, which we can use to get inside this guy's hotel. Okay, giving us the key. Uh, okay, and now we're inside. Let's see, here, give the cookie to the rat first, I believe, in order to get the handle. And we get these four door things. Okay, here we're going to get four door things again. And then we're going to put the knight into a uh, place. Yeah, each area has two different puzzles. Okay. Okay, we put the door handle in place there, get the door pieces there, now I've got the key, let's see, we gotta grab these things, and these things, both these keys go here, we grab the final set of door pieces, we have to wait for it to appear in our inventory, then we use the room number, then I'm using number T here, or letter T there, I'm gonna finish that, uh, go up here, use these door pieces, and it's gonna be the end of this segment, basically. Uh, we found the innocent man's room. Hooray. This next segment is not too bad, except I always forget how to open the suitcase key. So let's see if I got this right. I think it's the square on the top and then the, the circle sort of near the top. Okay, let's see if that is actually it. Go! Oh yeah, I have to wait a second after hitting play before I go. Okay, now go! Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow, jeez. Okay. Um, we need to move uh, suitcases and pillows, so that makes this a somewhat difficult hidden objects challenge. Click, 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 clickety. Oh, and I'm missing suitcases. Hint. There we go. Okay, book, paper. This one's not so tough, but still it needs precise clicks before it accepts anything, and good. Okay, I got the, the recipe. Okay, so here we go. Ah, I gotta grab that. Okay. Is this on the top? Circle, sort of near the top. Got it. Okay, beautiful. Okay, gonna need to grab this chip over here, and then throw these chips here. Simple puzzle, repeat this. Okay, I have to open up this, and we're gonna grab the box key. Box key goes here. Corkscrew goes here. That gives me queen. Step backwards for the queen to be used over here. And I've got a bunch of mixture stuff, so they're all going to go here to build the amazing medicine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. Very simple, just do it in the order it tells you to, and we get uh, Pepto-Bismol for our good <coughs> friend, Detective Dupon. Okay, grab that, use this piece, swap them like this. Basically swap the bottom one up twice. Uh, look in this bag, hat key goes on the bag for a key. Key goes here for this annoying puzzle. Somewhat annoying, it's uh, it's just got really... Ah! Mm. It's kind of picky about which items you pick and uh, where they're supposed to go, but it's done now. Okay, these go here, and I'm just going to skip this puzzle. In the next room, we've got like a couple of puzzles for a raven, and then uh, that'll be that. Okay, so raven pieces. One, two, three... Three, I clicked on you. One, two, three, four, five, all the raven pieces. Come alive! Okay, we grab this. Cupboard key, gonna skip this puzzle. And then it's gonna be the raven puzzle. We just got two of the raven things. And obviously we're collecting cupboard keys here. Grab the raven, grab the claw. Throw everything here, and it sticks. Okay, make that, that. Put the raven in place, and hidden objects. This is probably going to be the shortest segment of the run. I literally have one puzzle besides the hidden objects puzzle. Okay, let's get going. Okay, sunflowers. Wow, okay, I'm just getting everything here. It's it's kind of tough because I've got three items I need to move into places for two different puzzles. So three items go on a crown and three sunflowers go there. And the paintbrush I missed, okay. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. Okay, and here's the one puzzle. Spin these things around in the correct order. Okay, ignore our friend, leave outside, done. Wow, that segment was under a minute long. This next segment is gonna be about four minutes. We're gonna go to the police station. We're gonna do stuff there. Okay. This is a unique hidden objects challenge in that we need to throw things on the board uh, in the specific spots that they go. It's kind of tricky because we have multiple stars. Okay, that gives me a torch. Hooray. And I got some sort of achievement. Okay, map, then torch. We're going to skip this puzzle, reach the police station. With the police station, we want to look at the door first to get that item because we want that item to smash this, and then we'll be done with uh, that, this area. Cool. And then we get another police badge there. It doesn't really matter what order we get that police badge in, but yeah, it only matters that, hey, we reach that one area, you know, we get that stick before the fountain. That's the only thing that matters. Okay, and uh, I didn't get the second thing there. Hopefully that will not completely ruin me for later on. Okay, we need to grab all these badges here. Didn't mean to look at that area yet. My mistake. There's a passcode, there's a passcode. Passcode goes here. Giving myself the key, throwing these passcode pieces together. Using them here. Okay, so this is gonna be seven, two, three. Oh no! No 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 okay. Overshot it on the the first and second digits. Oh no! Okay. Freeze! Oh. Skipping that conversation. Meant to do that from left to right. That is uh look at the the cupboard on the left first before looking at this because it gave me the clue for that puzzle. Uh, this can be done in any order, doesn't really matter where it is uh, relative to the other ones. Okay, uh, this is a magic challenge. It's, ah, it's kind of a tough one. Papers, papers, those and those. And finally we get this one, which is, which is the pouch. Move those things around. Do, 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 do. This could be tricky. There we go, good. I think it's stuck on that coin thing. And we got coins and tumblers. Tumblers go here. Unlike the other one, it doesn't... I mean, this one you can't overshoot it because, uh, you know, if you click too many times, the game just won't accept it. The game only accepts, like, one click per second on that puzzle. Which is good. I can't overclick it, but then again, it's also bad because I might get stuck. You know, it, it, it slows me down. 
so that's 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 part of the bad reason. Okay, so it looks win? like we've got an evil villain like that. She's an evil villain. She is uh, the witch, I believe. And where's the item I'm supposed to get? Here, there, the glass. I okay. can't fix my medallion, but with you. The faster. So actually, the storyline is that the culprit is going there uh, to Grey Valley, I believe it is Grey Valley, in order to meet with the witch. The culprit is basically just going to turn on the witch, basically. Basically, it what an evil, evil culprit turning, turning on her witch friend. So we're actually going to end up saving our. Uh, we're going to end up saving the witch when we get there. Okay, that should be the last coin. Cool. Grab this thing. Almost done with this segment here. Open these pinchers and drop these two things here for a hidden object challenge. Next is another short segment, about a minute long. Let's do it. It's a minute long depending on how long it takes me to do this in Objects Challenge, which is a difficult one. Okay. So we just have to find a ton of different items here. Uh, chocolate. I'm actually making some candy. Um, it's probably not obvious, but yes, it's what I'm doing. And here's some wine, because why not have candy with wine? Croissant and a bow. Oh, and the candy box, of course, after you find all the pieces of candy. Okay, that gives me food. We're going to give it to this guy. Everything just goes to this guy. And we leave. So this is going to take us to Grave Valley, uh, where we're going to meet the witch as soon as we get outside of the town square. Okay, here we get a key. Um, key gives me an item for that statue, which I just got the key from, which is kind of nice. Okay, here we just get rid of all these branches, give myself a different key. That key goes there for the bird, that, uh, oh wait, gotta grab the glove, then use this key here, hidden objects challenge time. And this next segment is going to be about two and a half minutes from when you go to the witch's cottage and meet the witch. I don't like this hidden objects challenge. Uh, yeah, it's, it's basically just find all the items, uh, a lot of the uh, tricky, tricky things like that. And we have to sit through animations, which uh, makes this uh, speed run take a little bit longer. But simple from here on out. Oh, by the way, that was a totally irrelevant story that was playing at the bottom of the screen. It has nothing to do with anything. It does not have anything to do with the mystery of the storyline. I have no idea why they included it. Okay, Strange. skipping that because it's just kind of a pain. I used to go out to get rid of those things. It's another flower matching puzzle, sort of like the first one we saw in the start of this uh, video. And spider key goes here. We're going to skip this puzzle. Oh, by the way, uh, we're going to meet the witch in this upcoming scene. The witch is going to get stabbed by, by uh, a, a snake, weather. so close your eyes if you don't want to see this. Okay, there we go. She's back to normal. <gasps> or, or, she's not back to normal. She's dying because she just got bit by a snake. But uh, now you don't need to see the snake, and I was misclicking there. That's very bad of me. I apologize. And uh, here we are going to get all these beetles the recipe, because obviously we need the recipe to save the witch. Okay, and this is sort of a randomized puzzle. It is a randomized puzzle, and it's just bad. Okay. It's, it's a good puzzle, but, um, okay, I had some good luck with that. Great. I, I think it's a random, random location of where all those things are, and if you just have bad luck, then you just have bad luck, and it's very unfortunate, and life is very sad for you. And that should be everything here. Now we're going to go back to the witch for the final hidden objects challenge, which is the place I was clicking on accidentally. Okay, this is going to be the final segment of the speedrun. Uh, I added up all the times from the previous segments, so it is 21 minutes and 48 seconds so far. Can I beat this game in under 25 minutes? That would be crazy if I could, but can I? Let's find out. Final segment, coming at ya. Oh, right, this starts with an insanely different flower challenge. 
Maybe not insanely difficult to somebody who actually knows what flowers are called, but uh, I'm not one of those people. We've got a couple of animations to, to put up with here. Uh, let's see, gotta get the mint out of the way. And I have no idea what Rosemary is. Uh, that's Rosemary. Got it. Cool. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. We get a red flower, which is a rose. I know it's called a rose. The one flower I know the name of. And, uh, I don't get to show off my amazing, uh, skills with botany. Okay, so we saved the witch. Now? She, she's going to tell us to destroy Elena's portrait, which will allow us to defeat her forever, which uh, is good. Yep. We're gonna destroy the portrait and save those two girls that were uh, just totally destroyed earlier on in this, uh, in this speed run. In the cutscenes that I sort of skipped. Okay, final good click of the work. game is coming up here. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, go. So, 23 minutes and 4 seconds. That's how long it took me to beat the game. Not including, you know, all those what times you that I, uh, My beauty needed to live forever. and shut no. the game. Because technically you're not really playing the game. You're just opening and closing a save file. So, uh, those, those little parts where I talked about the segments in between don't count. Segments like this one, where I'm talking over the title screen. So, no idea what Michael was thinking when he was recording that video. Uh, the actual time is 23.06, so Michael is being extra generous and pretending he beat the game two seconds earlier than he actually did. Naughty Michael. Naughty Michael. So, that's uh, my speedrun for this game. Thank you very much for watching me play Dark Tales Edgar Allan Poe's The Oval Portrait. I hope you enjoyed it.